What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Chimpact, and today we're gonna be using Envy's team for the GBA. I'm on Envy's channel, uh, guest narration, because he is away on vacation. And I'm gonna be using his GBA team, he passed me this team. Um, this is the squad right here. Um, the Dragonite is Zemu, with only Fly as its attack. Uh, we are gonna go Jolly on him. We're gonna go Jolly on this. So that we can outspeed, I believe we outspeed Tapu Koko with Jolly instead of Adamant. Impressive with Rocky Helmet. I would, I do want to make this Drill Peck with Childberry, but I don't think Drill Peck kills Marshadow anyway. So then we got the Landers, Choice Garb, Chimp Cat, Alka Jam. Psychic, Dazzling, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball. Uh, energy Ball is not needed. Slime, Slime, Muck, Poison Touch, Salt Vest, Poison Jam, Knockout, Pursuit, Shadow Snake, seems reasonable. Uh, I feel like less attack would be better in taking on Tapu Lele, but we'll see. And then this Magnificent uh, set is, uh, it was Specs, but I changed it to the spread. Uh, that's my that's my custom Magnazone spread. That's my custom Magnuson spread. Alright, so here we go. We're up against... Uh, where's this fire? He got water grass, but there's no fire. Alright, whatever. I'm going to try to lead out with Empoleon. I Absol is released, so he will be able to Magic Bounce if he does have Magic Bounce. Um, he doesn't lead out with it. Glyscore does have Defog, but I doubt he has Defog because in order to have Defog, you need to... You need to... You need to... Not be uh, the ability. The important ability. So he is immediately going to get the uh, the thing, the burn, which is unfortunate, but I'd rather him get it sooner than later because, yeah, now he's gonna switch out moves. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, that is unfortunate crit. Uh, he is gonna go out the glass score here. Uh, even with the bear that I have, I'm not gonna be able to knock him out, so I'm gonna go out into the Landorus here. Ideally, he does not have Swords Dance. Ideally, he does not have Swords Dance. Goes for the earthquake. I will just go for the. Just go back out to Magnus and see what he does. Goes out into Vaporeon. I'm gonna HP Ice this time. Oh my god, this guy is good. This guy is good. Uh, I don't think Thunderbolt kills. I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Just no. He probably thinks I'm choice. Yeah, Thunderbolt will not have killed it all, oh my god. Alright, so he cannot scald me. He obviously can't just Shadow Ball me though, so that's good on him, but whatever. Um, he can go Absol here. Did he, he really went Absol? Wow, this guy's, this guy's very, very solid, a Pokemon. Alright, so I really don't want to go for Dazzling. Dazzling did not kill based on the Volt Switch damage. Volt Switch did 44%. That actually is probably a solid vest Vaporeon based on the damage the Volt Switch did. Did he soccer? He knocked off. Dude. Calm down. Alright, so I do not want to get Ice Beam because this looks like the opponent that has Ice Beam on this guy. So I do not want to make that play. Okay. Alright, since he um previously switched out, I'm gonna just stay in. Oh, dude, this is gonna no, this is actually just easy win with uh, Dragonite. This is actually just easy win with Dragonite. I'm gonna HP Ice here because I'm not locked in anymore, so I feel comfortable going for that play. I really do not care if he switches out to anything because what is he gonna switch out into Empum? Empum's gonna take rocks and it's gonna take the HP Ice, and then I can just sack and pull on. Um, yeah, I can just sack and pull on here uh, with the Rocky Helmet and stuff. Uh, it's gonna, you know, just be very, very annoying for him to deal with. Um, ice Punch, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and Ice Punch me. We're gonna just go for the Ice Beam here. I do want to switch out actually into Landers. I do want to just switch out into Landers. He actually didn't switch. Stayed into Thunder Punch. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go to Slime. I don't really don't need it for anything. I don't need it for the Dragagi. I don't need it for anything. So he's gonna Ice Punch here again because he is gonna outspeed me. And oh my god, it started. It has started. Second Ice Punch, second Freeze. The first, yeah, the second Ice Punch, first Freeze. Oh my god, don't do this. Double slap. Okay, I need I need I need him to five times again. 
I need him to hit five times. I really am not patient enough for this. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, that is some nice recoil. Yeah, lol, dude. Lol, indeed. Um, Vaporeon is low. It cannot recover, I don't think, because I think it's Assault Vest based on the damage from the Thunderbolt, the Volt Switch. It goes out to Breloom. Uh, I kind of don't need this anymore. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. I guess it's good for Dragology. It goes for Bullet Seed. Two hits, two hits, three hits, three hits, three hits. Nice. Ice Beam kills? Nope. Uh... I have extreme speed, so it's fine. It's fine. I have extreme speed. <laughs> what? You know I have mock. You know I have the Rocky helmet, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go. Let's make him go. Let's let's go night night. It's time for him to go night night. Dragon dance. What just happened? Oh, it's because of Z move. Okay, it goes for the play rough. I got the attack drop. Uh, I suppose I'll just go. Does he not have sucker punch? I feel like he would have sucker punched. All right, he knocked out the assault vest. I really hope I thaw here because he doesn't. I don't think play rough kills. Oh come on, man. I do not think I don't think I kill this with Dragonite. Then it just goes glide. I don't know what the Glasgow is gonna do to me, so I'll just Dragon Dance here. Okay. Let's protect. I'll just see fly. Don't protect. Nice! KO'd? I think it's a KO. U-turn. Okay, that's fine. Um, I just Dragon Dance on his Protect the next time, and then I KO him. Press click this. Or E-Speed. I'll just E-Speed. Um, because if he have his, he, he'll get an extra 12 doing that. Alright, so now if he goes Dragology, I kill with Earthquake. If he goes this, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Pretty sure E-Speed still kills, but just gonna drag dance the stunt. Oh no no no! The stunt play was fly. The stunt play was fly. I should have flew. Oh well, if that's gonna happen, then yeah, I guess I shouldn't have went for fly. Nice, nice, nice. All right, just e-speed this bad boy because play rough will likely KO. Sucker punch avoided, and then I can just EQ the Dragaji and win. So we'll move on to the next game. FF. GG. All right, so I'm gonna lead out the Magna Z Z Z Zone here. Leads out the Landers HP Ice. This may be able to knock him out. This may be able to knock him out. It is HP Ice with the KO. Alright, alright. Alright, he goes out into his Mold Breaker Haxorus. Um, how do I KO the Scizor? I suppose I have Empoleon. But then he has switch-ins for that, so I'm not really too sure about that. I can pursue the Starmie. The Rotom's gonna be difficult. The Rotom's gonna be difficult. Goes for the Dragon Dance. Um, he does outspeed. Darn. 322. Does it outspeed Alakazam? Does it outspeed Alakazam? Um, the Rotom is actually not too bad if I do get a poison with the poison jab, but otherwise it's going to be very difficult to deal with because if he will o burns me and I do not get the poison with poison jab or uh, poison touch, that's going to be really difficult to deal with. 
I guess Magnezone can repeatedly Thunderbolt it if I do knock this out because he doesn't have Thunderbolt switching because this is going to boost Electric Train. Goes for an additional Dragon Dance. If I do go Empoleon, I forego. Yeah, I'll just Earthquake. You can Outrage. Oh, that darn. Um, does Shadow Sneak kill? I don't think Shadow Sneak will kill. So. I can defog. Yeah, I have. I can just click defog. I have Magnezone for Scizor. I guess. Maybe this doesn't. This probably doesn't even 2 AKO. It's only a plus one. So I can defog and likely Stealth Rock. You cannot switch moves, bro. You you are locked in. You 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 are locked in. You are locked in. Let's turn on the timer. This is not impressive. This is not impressive by him. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, make a move, my guy. Let's let's think of a game plan. I dragon dance. I got to e speed the Rotom, so I need I need at least I need the Rotom to have taken forty percent. How does the Rotom take forty percent? It takes forty percent. Actually, Alakazam wins. Alakazam can win this game if I knock out the Scizor with the Magnezone. It's likely Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor typically does not run superpower. And if it does run superpower, my Magnezone is still at full. So I will probably be able to take the hit. And... This guy is still... I, it's probably just lag because you literally cannot click anything other than attack. So... It's probably just the lag. So... I'll get another game. See if he uh, comes back. Oh, he... Yeah, it's not a 2 hit kill. But now I'm playing two games at once. Okay, so I still have this for the scissor, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, like I said, if he does have the superpower, it's still pretty bad. But regardless, um, it is what it is. The muck, like I said, has to poison the Rotom still. I do have rocks up, but he does have the star me, so he can easily just spin. But if he spins, I actually cannot set up rocks anymore because I'm pretty sure the scissor is going to be able to speed this. Yeah. Uh, let's let's just look at this game. Uh, there's a Marshadow, so I don't really don't know what I'm going to do against that. Um, let me just lead out with the Landorus. He leads out with the Salamence. Uh, he's not Intimidate. Uh, I think HPI should be able to knock this out. I'll just U-turn though, because it'll probably switch you up. Hmm. He doesn't really have anything to take this Magnezone on. So, I could Volt Switch. I will just Volt Switch here. Goes out to Jirachi. Um. Yeah. I'll just knock off. Knock off seems good. Okay, he goes Tapu Coco here. Um. I'll just act. I'll just act this. Takes the life orb. That's good. That's good. Mega Scizor. Man, Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor. This does boost my Magnezone significantly, so I don't really know about that play. I do have a little bit of speed, but I'm pretty sure zero speed Scizor still outspeeds Magnezone with the spread that I have. Magnezone at 75 speed, and I only outspeed base 70s, so... Yeah, Magnezone will be able to outspeed, or Scissor will be able to outspeed me. I do not have Hidden Power Fire, but Electric Train Thunderbolt should be enough to deal significant damage to the Scizor. He does have the superpower, he does not knock me out. So now, um, Alakazam should be able to win this game. Shadow Ball, Psychic, Psychic. Psychic should not got the Tapu Coco. 
And uh, it's unfortunate that the Magnezone had to take so much damage, so now that I can't really reliably weaken this Rotom, but um, it's fine. He didn't even get leftover recovery there. Alright, so I knock out his thing. This is probably Z move. So I'm gonna go into this. I don't know if Z move actually kills me, but I'm gonna go on Napoleon here. Um, if you drag it dances again, the game is over. However, if I sack this, the game is likely over. So I will go in pulling on here. He does drag and dance again. Um, he probably has the earthquake, so I will go back out into Landris. I will have to go for the inner power ice here. He does drag and dance again. I will go in pulling on here. He does go for the dragon claw. I will get off another intimidate. He does just go for the dragon dance again i do have the shadow sneak so what do i not need on this team um magazine goodbye uh, even at plus one yeah sugar bear is not saving me right yeah it's not saving me bros wait he's leftovers Bro, I thought he was Z move the entire time. This this thing is not gonna do any damage. Alright, 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 alright. I almost lost that game. But luckily I can just knock this bad boy off. Um poison jab plus Shasnate should also knock it out, so I'm just gonna poison jab just in case he wants to go into Rotom. I guess it's fine if I just get rid of the item on the Rotom because that's also similar to just getting a poison off because he's not getting the actual little bit of leftovers. Yeah, I would have been able to take that really, really well. So I do not care about this anymore. Nice damage, nice damage. Go side jump kick. Um... Psychic should do a kill everything on his team. Should do a kill everything on his team. If I dragon dance, I can't really dragon dance on anything. I can dragon dance on an intimidated Mars Shadow. He goes out to this. Uh, is this is pretty bad? Uh, I might lose this. Hold on. I'd, I'd need to do big damage. He has toxic. That's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. I cannot. Well, if he has protect, that's pretty bad. Oh, he doesn't have protect. Cool. 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 Um, it's surprising to me that he didn't go Marshadow, but I'll take that any day of the week. Any day of the week. Um, on the Marshadow, I'll sack and pull on. He goes on to tap Affinity though. Do I just go and pull on anyway? No, I'll just psychic. Uh, Earthquake should knock it out. Yeah, Earthquake should knock it out, and if it doesn't, um, I'll just Earthquake it with D Knight. Or Extreme Speed it with D Knight. Alright, did I actually click knock off? Alright, back to this game. Earthquake, Earthquake, Ice Punch. I'll finish this game off in style. I'll finish this game off in style, boys. With the Rocky Helmet. Sign signature of Envy. Signature of Envy. So how long has this been going on? 20 minutes? 20 minutes so far, so we'll get a couple more games. Alright, so got to poison jab this bad boy. Uh, Coco is uh, in psychic range. Alright, got the thing. Now Shadow Sneak will not knock it out. But Shadow Sneak will knock this out along with the Extreme Speed. I know this is li Life Orb. I'm about to say Leftovers. Uh, it's definitely not Leftovers because it's Life Orb and I can just Dazzling Gleam. Uh, except that the Mega. Let me just regular Dazzling Gleam though. Let me just regular Dazzling Gleam. Oh shoot. Oh well. Uh, let me just uh, fly. Let me just fly. 
We just fly. We're just toying with our opponents because I put him on a timer. Alright, so he lost the game because I could click fun battle instead of add game. Wait, did I lose? Hold on, did I lose? I don't know, it was right. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, I didn't even click fly. That's not fair. Whatever. Okay, okay. <laughs> More of our shadows. It's always fun. Um, just lead out with the Magnuson. No, let's just lead out. Let's just lead. Okay, Alkazan. Alkazan seems good. Man, if if Empoleon, Empoleon was like a funny resist or something, that'd be nice. Let's just Mega Evolve. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Should be enough to deal like eighty percent, probably 80 90 percent to this Kingdra. And he doesn't have a fair resist, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, eternally could go Empoleon. <laughs> eternally could go Empoleon and save Alakazam from taking a ton of damage because I could always use Empoleon, uh, Alakazam to take a uh, Seed Flares or an attack from this. And uh, if this is at full after Intimidate, I can take a Marshadow Shadow Sneak. So instead, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make the Intelligent Play and go out into my Empoleon. Because if he does happen to go out into the Manetric, I do have uh, a decent switch in in Magnezone. Or not a decent switch in, but a decent pivot combo into Magnezone to Muck. So if he happens to go for the electric move on the Empoleon, I can go with the Magnezone and then Muck in on the fire move. Okay, and then I'm also hit the timer. Okay. If I dazzled that, that would have died. All right. Do not click ice. 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 Like he didn't even go for the fighting move. What? What's up? What's happening? What's happening, bro? All right. Earthquake does not kill because this thing has respectable defenses. But this boy does not care. Uh, flash cannon should kill. And I don't need this for anything else, so yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I guess I do need this. Like, if two Thunderbolts knocks me out, that'd be pretty bad, but... Like, if two Thunderbolts knocks me out after this Earth Power, if he does go for the Earth Power, that's really bad. But he might also just switch into Infernape if he doesn't have the Earth Power, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna have the Earth Power. I feel like he's he, he'd be both beam earth power on this team, but I don't know like his team is like he didn't go for the fighting move on Napoleon So I, I have no idea what like to expect from him. So oh That was also a crit, but the crit doesn't matter if I get off this flash cannon It's only a matter of time we will see Surely what this uh, eat yo choro is up to <sighs> Okay, 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 let's see. Let's see what we got here so Alakazam can Psychic his entire team. Um, with Rocks up, I do kill his entire team with Psychic. I just gotta watch out for the Marshadow with Shadow Sneak and potentially Scarf and Fernape. Um, Fernape Scarf is possibly the only Scarf on his team. I don't know why he's a Kingdra. Gotta watch out for Kingdra too. Um, I can Stealth Rock up on the Shaman and on the Kingdra probably. I can also... Okay, he just goes for the Dragon Claw. And I am able to knock him out. Uh, I guess if he was a Soul Vest... Um, I wasn't going to be able to knock him out, and the crit might have mattered in that aspect, but pretty much everything would have knocked him out. Like, the extra 10% does not help. He does go out into the Infernape here, and um, this is pretty bad. Let's say I Dragon Dance, though. Um, everything on his team dies, so let's just full switch. Okay, he's Life Orb, so he's not Scarf there, so that's really, really solid for me. Yeah, I'm gonna pursue the Manetric, so I'm just gonna sack this. Just going to sack this. Right, I gotta keep in mind that he does have Fake Out, so... Um, I probably have to switch out Empoleon, or Al Alakazam every time. Um, does he have any abilities that I can take advantage of? No. Manetric has Intimidate. And... I'll never be able to intimidate Manetric. 
for value because if he ever switches Manetric in, I'm not gonna get the Intimidate on whatever else. So yeah, not gonna get value off on Intimidate. Shame is natural cure, maybe if his King Dress Scalding burns me, but I don't think I'm gonna take a hit from King Dress anyway. I'm either gonna Oko it just straight up, or I'm gonna switch out every time I see a King Drew. Because like I said, I need this Alakazam at very, very, at a very, very healthy amount of HP, so I can take a Shadow Sneak at minus one. Because I'm pretty sure Alakazam should be able to take a Shadow Sneak at minus one attack. He decides to switch out into Mar- is this Sash? This has to be Sash based on the way he's playing this. Okay. Alright, so I do not need the health on Alakazam anymore, so I will just do whatever I want with Alakazam. However, if he does go out into Infernape, I will just decide to go out into Empoleon on the Infernape. Just so that I can get off the little bit of chip and etc, etc. Maybe I should have went out into Landris, but... Um, because Fake Out is going to do a lot less damage than Close Combat is. But does it matter? He's at 44 with the Close Combat. He's not going to kill me with this Close Combat, I don't think. But he could crit me, and then that means I don't get a Brock. So I'm going to go out to Chimp Cat here. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to just U-turn, because he does have a Ground Resist there, and Shaman, and... With the U-turn damage, he will probably only have one more hit off, um, unless he does go for the... He'll only have one more hit off, unless he goes for the Flare Blitz, in which case he'll have no hits left. After the damage on the Muck. Alright, that only knocks that out. And it's at 44, so if he makes contact with my Empoleon, so he's easily in Shadow Sneak range. He goes on to the Shaman. I got the Muck. That I really want to just pursue this, but doesn't really have a Poison Jab switch in, so I'm just going to Poison Jab. Be able to knock this out. And all he has left is Manetric, which can take a Psychic but he chooses not to. Alright, this is going to be the last game that I get with this. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves a serious opponent. Uh, Greninja Marshadow. Magirna. Let's lead out with the Magazine. Ideally, he does not lead out with the Marshadow. That would be very, very bad for us. He leads out with the Tapu Fini. I will just go for the HP Ice on the Landorus. Goodbye, good to be. All right, all right, all right. If I get a forfeit out of that, I'll take that as well. So I'll get another game. Dang, that didn't kill. So he's very, very bulky. All right. Um. I have extreme speed. I need to get a Brox. I really need to get a Brox because I cannot let this thing shell smash because this thing is very powerful against my team. Um, I'm going to just lead out with the Landers. He leads out this. Okay, I'm going to just U-turn and go into Empoleon and get a Brox. He doesn't have a default. He has a spinner, but his spinner is the most learning Pokemon to my team. So I do not, I do not get, uh, I guess two Shadow Snakes plus Extreme Speed. We'll be able to knock out the Cloyster um, with a little bit of chip damage from literally everything else on my team. Maybe not Scald. Thing is, it does have really, really bad speed F, so probably Scald. Alright, I got the Intimidate off. I go on to Empoleon. Goes through the Iron Head. It does learn Superpower, but uh, with the Intimidate, I don't think uh, the Superpower is going to do over 70% to me. So that should be fine. We should be good. We should be very good. Um, goes out to mimic you. I'll just go for Scald here. I do not. I don't think this is gonna be like the Cinder Swords in this mimic you set. I think it's gonna be a little funky. I think he's gonna have a funky mimic you set. We'll see though, because his team, his team just like typically you see a Swords in this mimic you on a team with like spikes and South Rock and just HO sticky web stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. He could be just the Swords in set. We'll see. We'll see. He's also using some like some unique Pokemon, obviously, with the... Yeah, I thought so. He just goes for the Lilith. 
Um, this team does not take a Scald well. Um, this obviously is his best Scald switch in, so it's unfortunate that he has the Willows, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, I kind of want to switch out to Magnuson, expecting him to possibly go out to Gyarados, but I don't think he actually... That's, that's so risky to go out to Gyarados here uh, on the Scald. Um, he definitely does not go Cloister because Cloister does not take Scald plus Shell Smash plus Scald after the Shell Smash. But actually, I'm pulling on Beast of Cloister. It, it takes any hit from Cloister. So I should probably keep this healthy, even though I do have rocks up. I should probably keep this healthy. Um, but actually, I'm just going to go for another Scald because what's another 18% to me? What's another 18% to me? I'm a 52 after 18. I'll be at 52. That's fine. I think at 52 I could still, maybe, I probably don't take a plus. I actually, at 4 times resist Icicle Spear, I 2 times resist Razor Shell. Maybe Razor Shell knocks me out, but whatever. Um, that means he'll take Rocky Helmet on that. Rock Blast 100% does not knock me out. At 50, 58? 52? Maybe. I really want to switch to Magnuson, but uh, I need Magnuson very, very healthy because I don't know if I take an Earthquake even through the Shuga with uh, a little bit of chip damage with from the Glass or something like that. So, especially if he does happen to burn me, because that means I'm taking a lot of chip. Uh, he goes for the Destiny Bot. Ideally, this doesn't kill. Yeah, it doesn't kill, but the Burned also doesn't kill him. Um, it's I don't think it's. Uh, but then I'm also taking more burn damage. All right, I'll go out to Muck here because then I can just Shadow Sneak. Uh, should be fine, should be fine. Muck? Yeah, Muck should be fine. Shot six is bad boy. Um, Glass card is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. Um, I have two HP Ices, I have a Psychic, very powerful Psychic. Self Rocks are up, so it's going to be Self Rock are up. So it's going to be difficult for him to be at 100%. It's not obviously it's not going to be impossible because poison heal heals 12. But uh, if I do happen to, pr I got to pressure the glass score a lot because it could defensively win the game for him. Uh, and he just goes out into it. I got to knock this thing off. Ideally, <laughs> ideally I do not. Oh shoot! Oh my god! I didn't really need the muck. I guess Shadow Sneak was cool for the Cloister, but I didn't really need the Muck, but dang, that did, I did not expect that to kill. I'm max HP. Alright. There's Mega Evolve, go for the Psychic. I need to do a little bit of chip damage before I can knock it out with HP Ices, or... Yeah, just HP Ices, pretty much, or like even a Z Fly. I say Dragon Dance with the Dragonite. I have to Z Fly on the Gyarados or the Glyscore because in Extreme Speed is not going to be enough to knock that out, and Fly is not going to be enough to knock out the Gyarados either. Also, I probably have to Z Fly the Cloister, so I probably have to get plus two and try to fly on something. If this has Protect, I cannot even beat this with Dragonite, so it's going to be pretty difficult. Cloister. Yeah, there's nothing I can really abuse out of his abilities outside of maybe Intimidate on the Gyarados and. <laughs> If his Drain has Hustle. Alright, his Psychic Resist is the Durant. And has the Durant taken any prior damage? Oh, so Durant might just die to the Psychic because that has really pitiful defenses. Special Defense. Has like 58 Special Defense. 48, even lower than I thought. And 58 HP, so yeah. This thing has very pitiful Special Defense, so it's going to die very, very, very fast. Alright, so got the Psychic off, it's not going to kill. Oh, it does kill, so maybe it was offensive Glide Square, so makes sense that the Muck died. He goes out to Durant here, um, I do not risk, I do not want to risk this being Scarfed. So, I will go out into the Landers. I'm pretty sure Psychic Shadow Ball should knock this out at this range, because I used stuff from the stats, like, I'm pretty much going for, it's not a resist, this thing is not a Psychic uh, this, this thing is not a Psychic Resist, not at all. Um, yeah, let's make a play, my guy. 
The cloister is still a problem that I got to deal with because if he does double switch in the cloister here, which uh, would be actually incredible if he predicts me to predict him to think he's trying to scarf, that'd be incredible. But it's not scarfed. Well, it could be scarfed, but he didn't switch. I'm not actually sure if earthquake kills, but YOLO. Yeah, it does kill. Actually, it probably does around 60% or 70%. Probably not 70, probably with a roll right there. Alright, he's likely to go Gyarados here. If he goes Cloyster, I'm fine with that because getting the Earthquake chip is ideal. Because with the Earthquake chip, Extreme Speed does knock it out and he might not even outspeed me for 80. He does outspeed me, so what we're gonna do here is go. Magnet no zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. I'm pretty sure E speed knocks us out. That was a very, very, very good stealth rock that I got. Alright, so he does two hit kill me with the Icicle Spear. He probably has the radio shell to knock me out anyway, so it didn't really matter if I switched, but. Could I? Hmm. Let's say I go landers here. Nah, let's just let's just thunderbolt. E speed kills. Let's just let's just thunderbolt here. Razor shell. Okay. Pretty sure I live any hit. Unless he's King's Rock. If he's King's Rock, God bless. Yep. Pretty sure Rachel lowers defenses, but it doesn't matter. Alright, Gyarados is his last remaining threat. I do have Scarf, Lando, Extreme Speed, Alakazam. So, we will see how threatening the Gyarados really is. Because Gyarados does not outspeed Zam at plus one. And the Gyarados not outspeed Landers at plus one. So we will really see what he's about. We'll see what you're about. Puma, Rapa, Rupa, 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 Rupa. He is Intimidate, and I'm gonna get the Intimidate back up on him. Maybe get off some more Rocky Helmet damage. Goes for Dragon Dance. 287, 420-ish. Dazzle Gleam, knock him out. As I'm going to knock him out. Because Alex Sam outspeeds Scarf Lando, I think. No, Alex sees Adam and Scarf Lando. And Adam and Scarf Lando outspeeds Gyarados? No, it doesn't. But either way, I'm pretty sure 280 times 1.5, 290 times 1.5 is like 435. Right? 290 times 1.5 is 435, so. Because 280 times 1.5 is 420. So it hits 424 or something. And I'm 438. 1738. Dazzling should kill, right? It should kill. People don't really run bulk on this. And even if it doesn't kill, if he drag dances again, then I just have the extreme speed. And if he has drag it, no, he actually cannot drag it as an rest. Well, I guess he could. Because if it didn't do 76. Oh, he ate. Dang, he ate. Alright. I'll save the Intimidate for the Infernape. In case I need it. Uh, could not set up on the Gyarados because he is Mold Breaker. He could go for the Ice Fang, knock me out, and then. He's like, I guess. There's no Inferno except that could beat me because HPS cannot kill Lando and Empoleon. And Close Combat cannot kill Empoleon and Lando. So I got him in a checkmate position. That's going to be it for the live today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed what you saw. Be sure to check me out. Check out Envy. Uh, GBA season coming up soon. I don't know the details. 
what is the ideal way for me for me ideally we go and um we we play a season before ultra sun and moon comes out and then as the season ends we play we make a new season with ultra sun and moon so that's ideally ideally what we do so we start up in like august we can't we can't start up in september because that's a two month season we can't do that right i don't think that's possible end the season in two months but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like peace